Well, we're seeing a dramatic increase in carjackings in Chicago, and now there's a push to reverse this trend. CBS 2's Dorothy Tucker takes a look at a new task force. All I heard was a boom. Outside her Inglewood home Sunday night, this is what Victoria Newsom saw, a crushed white van that had slammed into this tree. It was just a horrible accident. The van was stolen, and the teen who stole it... The same one seen here pinned to the ground by a retired police officer. The 15-year-old was arrested for attempted carjacking and charged with numerous felonies, but the teen was released to his parents, and 48 hours later, he ended up here. Those are the types of issues that we are looking to try to prevent. We're frustrated just as well as you guys are. That frustration is prompting this task force of law enforcement officers. One of the things we do want to do is put pressure on the state's attorney's office to make sure that they are charging appropriately. We also would like to see the judges uh, increase the bonds and hold people over for trial. A spokesman says Mayor Rahm Emanuel is working with police and lawmakers to increase penalties. I don't think that it's going to act as a deterrent. Sharon Mitchell is with the Illinois Justice Project. Children's brains don't develop till they're 25. So an adult may think, oh, I, commit this, I might commit this crime, but the penalty is large. A juvenile's not like that. A juvenile won't have that same type of decision making. Mitchell says authorities need to address the root cause of the problems like poverty, education, and joblessness. Members of the task force, especially the special task force, say they are looking at everything and will have a preliminary report next week. Robin, Erica. Okay. Dorothy, thank you.